Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Take Down Hot Seat Time. We head to South Dakota to talk with the man that is behind, the architect behind the rise of the Jacks. We're talking, of course, about the South Dakota State Jack Rabbits and head coach Chris Bono. Chris, how are you? Oh, doing well. Thank you. First of all, congratulations on the market improvement of the program this year, finishing fourth in the very tough and expanded Big 12 uh, was no easy task. Your guys uh, stood up to the pressure and traveled well. Can you talk a bit about the Big 12? Remember back. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was a great tournament. You know, we were excited to be a part of that uh, expanded group, and uh, you know, we were disappointed. Three guys in the finals, and we weren't able to win a Big 12 title uh, individually. But uh, you know, advancing um, five guys to the NCAA tournament out of that was uh, you know the goal to get as many as we can. And uh, excited about the hit, about the future of the Big 12, and uh, excited that we're able to compete in it. Mm, I gotta believe you are, and uh, gosh, you all came wrestling and wrestling hard. And Kansas City was a very good host for that event. Now. Coming up, there is a big event. It's called the First Nations Regional Wrestling Tournament. Coach, tell us a bit about this uh, special event. Yeah, it's been going on a couple of years now, and I'm I'm uh, happy that I'm a part of it. It's been great for these for these Native Americans to uh, you know come and, and wrestle uh, you know in this tournament. Uh, Sissident is a great host. Uh, Bob Johnson does a great job as well as uh, Casey Metz and all the people up in Sissident. And uh, I go up there and do a clinic for these guys, and uh, you know, real excited that uh, they're able to come into South Dakota and uh, we're able to host this tournament. So it comes up April twenty third. What's the origin for this event, Coach? Well, it's my origin. Uh, what, what, what's the what, question? What, what is the origin of the of the tournament? I understand that we have national championships for Division One, Two, Three. We have individual tournaments, uh, the Reno Tournament of Champions, etc. We know that uh, how those were started. How did this one get started? Well, you know, I'm I'm not too much uh, in the know about that, but I know that Bob Johnson. Uh, uh, you know, one of the AAU members uh, has started this, and uh, that's his hometown in Sisseton. And you know, we have a you know South Dakota. Um, you, you know, we have a lot of Native Americans, and uh, I think it's just given an opportunity for these Native Americans around the region, around the country, to come and wrestle in a, a regional slash national tournament. I love it. So it's an opportunity. And by the way, if you go back to the history of, of Native Americans, uh, many tribes settled their differences or just plain had fun wrestling and uh, so the the sport of wrestling and what it was to them was part of their culture and this is in many ways celebrating their cultural heritage uh, by wrestling in the first nations regional wrestling tournament you mentioned bob johnson of course fans you can contact bob johnson at bob j at aaumail.com this is an aau sanctioned event uh any idea how much it costs for wrestlers to compete is it in the neighborhood of 20 bucks or something like that yeah, I, I don't know. I don't okay. know too many of the I'll, details. I'll have some um, of the but details. But I, I know it's, I know it's not. Yeah, it's not. I know a, it's not real expensive. Right. No, and it's uh, uh, you know, they get they get a meal. Uh, you know, I think they get a free clinic out of this thing, and uh, um, it's it's really a great deal, and it does celebrate their heritage, and uh, you know, people come from all over. You know, the last couple of years we've had them. You know, from the state of Montana, from Washington. Uh, you know, Oklahoma's always sent a couple of people, so it, it's it's a wonderful uh, event. So what we're talking about here, again, is First Nations Regional Wrestling Tournament. And in order to be able to wrestle in it, you have to pay the fee, and that's age groups K through 12. And then you also must be enrolled member of a federally recognized tri tribe or show proof of lineal descent. Tribal ID paperwork uh, required to participate, so you must show that in order to be able to compete. Wrestlers will be grouped in age and weight categories, making it fair. And uh, that's one of the things that wrestling does, I think, so well, is group athletes to their ability. And from that group will rise a champion of that day, of that tournament, of the event, of a class. And I like that. Um, let's talk a bit about wrestling's history. Chris, you've been a part of it for so many years. Four years now going into your fifth uh, at South Dakota State. John Reeder's come on board. And, of course, you have yet another assistant as well. But you guys have been lighting fires up there. And, and now when uh, South Dakota State comes a call in for a recruit trip, uh, they're expecting you. Yeah, you know, we're, we're doing great things, um, you know, a lot slower than I'd like, 
you know, this is our, our uh, going into our fifth year here. And, you know, we were 77th, 77th, 56th, and 39th at the last four national tournaments. So there is progress. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a not real patient person. And we had a chance to really be in the top 20 this year. And I thought we could get it done. But uh, we'll, we'll, we're, we're, we're well well on the way. And, you know, four out of our five uh, returners, our NCAA qualifiers come back. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to have a, a – Great squad next year, and um, you know we're going to be right up there, and pretty soon we'll be in the top ten for sure. Chris, you're going to be acting as the South Dakota State uh, head coach um, at this event. In other words, you will be there as one of the stars, if you will, and and you'll be conducting a wrestling clinic. Um, and I, I like that because that just proves that you continue to give back to the sport, give all that's been taught to you by great coaches like Bobby Douglas and, and many others, your dad too. Uh, but these guys really left an imprint on you, and you continue to do that, continuing to give back. i got to believe that South Dakota State is very supportive of that. Oh, for sure. You know, I've got the best boss in the world here, you know, Justin Sell and, and Leon Costello, who – are trying to grow wrestling and give us uh, every opportunity to succeed. And uh, any chance I get to get out in the community, especially in South Dakota or this region, to uh, you know give back to some of our um, you know our youth. I, I love doing it. You know, somebody, someone did it for me all these years, and you know it's uh, we owe uh, we owe that as uh, you know as coaches and uh, you know we, to grow sport and help young young uh, young wrestlers out. So it is a great time. I enjoy going up to Sisseton and, uh, and 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 really working with these youth. I love it. By the way, folks, if you uh, have an individual that'd like to wrestle in this, we invite you to contact Derek McCauley at 605-463-3698 or, or get better yet, get a hold of him online at Derek M uh, at Derek M MSN dot gov. OK, so it's easy enough or Bob Johnson. Better yet, Bob J at AAU mail dot com. Bob Johnson. Bob J at AAU mail.com book, uh, book rooms has been reserved at Dakota magic located on interstate, uh, uh, right there near, uh, Hankinson. I think it is Hankinson, North Dakota, uh, under AAU wrestling. So you want to save some money there. Be prepared. Remember it's K through 12. And this event is called the first nations regional wrestling tournament in Sisseton highs in Sisseton, South Dakota. It'll start April 23rd at around 11 a.m. with that free clinic we talked about. There'll be another free clinic at about 3 o'clock, so you want to be there. Get ready to listen. Get ready to learn. Get ready to soak up all you can. Chris, what do they say? When you go to a, a, a clinic, if you are taught five or six things and you take home one thing and you learn it and make a part of your tricks, you've been pretty successful, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. If you can go there and pick up anything, uh, you know, if you leave, you know, one, one, one thing smarter, uh, it was worth it. And, uh, you know, these clinics, people throw a lot of things at these kids, but if you just pick up one thing, then it was worthwhile. Uh, but you know, uh, the way I, I like to do things, is I like to break it down really simple for them uh, and really explain to them, uh, you know, how, how to do things step by step, not just show moves. And, uh, and then, of course, at the end, we, we like to give them a little life lesson and a little uh, example of w what wrestling's done for me. And I think those are the things that really stick with the kids are the life lessons and, and how to, uh, you know, possibly be a better person. And that's really what we do at these clinics. Your uh, head assistant coach there is John Reeder, and John's got a life lesson coming up here in just a few weeks, doesn't he? He's going to be a daddy. But yeah, sure does. He's going to be a daddy, and uh, you know, hopefully, his wife makes it through the Olympic trials, and uh, you know, we get to celebrate a spot on the Olympic team and uh, the birth of his little girl. So uh, it's a, it's a, it's an exciting time around our program, not wrestling wise, but family wise, and uh, you know, and internationally too as well. How is Chris preparing for the Olympic trials? Or excuse Shoot, me, yeah, John, <laughs> John. 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 Yeah, John. Chris. I know Chris. I'd like to see. Oh, boy, there's my heart. You got speaking. me fired up. You got I'd me like fired up. See, I'd like to see Chris competing in the Olympic trials again. Yeah, no, John's ready. John's ready to go. Um, we're just fine tuning now the next 10 days, and uh, we'll be heading to Iowa City here next week and, and, and uh, you know, laying it on the line. You know, when you're, when you're out there with your lifelong goal, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, the training's good, and his diet's good, and his weight's good, and everything is on point. Injury wise, he's healthy, and uh, just excited to see him compete and uh, hopefully live, uh, uh, you know, live out his lifelong dream. By the way, you can pre-register for this event by visiting trackwrestling.com. Go to events and search for AAU First Nations. 
AAU First Nations. That's with an S on the end. It's a regional wrestling tournament in Sisseton High School in South Dakota. You're going to want to be there for this April 23rd and 24th as uh, uh, some of the great tribes and uh, members of these tribes get together and uh, do what they've been doing for literally centuries. And uh, Chris Bono has been our guest today in the Nike hot seat today. Chris, I appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations on what I consider to be a successful year because any year you get better and better and better. And there's there's tons of uh, evidence of how your teams are getting better every year. Your recruiting is getting better every year. i got to believe next year uh, you'll do even better at the Big 12 and, of course, uh, in the NCAAs as well. We'll be returning to St. Louis. Probably a little bit easier for you to get to, a little easier for us to get to, but uh, we'll return to that championship city as we uh, turn our attention now to the march to march under the arch. How about that? Yeah, I'm excited. You know, the new year started. You know, we, uh, we took a week and, you know, flushed out all those memories and, uh, you know, evaluated the season and now we move on. So we're excited. Uh, can't wait to get ready uh, to send our team to, to St. Louis in March. And do us a favor. Update us on your family. How is everybody? Everybody's awesome. My, kid, uh, my little girls are doing great. Um, my youngest has her regional gymnastics tournament next weekend in St. Louis, as a matter of fact, uh, as we're talking about that. So we're getting her ready, and uh, everybody's loving Brookings, South Dakota. So it's a wonderful uh, wonderful place to live, wonderful place to raise a family, and uh, it, uh, this place is really uh, unbelievable. Very special indeed. Chris, I appreciate you taking the time to join us today on Takedown. I surely do. I want to thank our sponsors at Nike, Nike Hot Seat, uh, special guest, the head coach of South Dakota State, home of the Mighty Jacks, and uh, those rabbits, believe me, they get it going on up in South Dakota State. Chris, thank you. Best to everybody up there. We look forward to seeing you at the First Nations Regional Wrestling Tournament in Sisseton High School in Sisseton, South Dakota. Good job out of you today. All right. Thank you, buddy.